Hey, voyeurs, and welcome back to some more of The Witcher 3. Uh, when we left off, we had just met up with Yennefer and escaped the Wild Hunt. On our way to see some Nilfgaardian statesmen, I believe. And uh, I was left with the choice of three outfits, and I think I was going to choose... Yes, this one here. There we go. Let's go ahead and slap that on. There we are, we look nice. Oh yeah, looking good. All right. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. <laughs> oh, so they want you wearing black and they want you to have a pale complexion. So um, <laughs> it's a nation of goth kids. Okay, gotcha. Confirm away. All right, begin the Please bowing watch. tutorial. All right, here we go. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. Two fingers up like that, the, the left hand? Rehearse. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, God, I wasn't paying attention. Was it this one? Hmm, <laughs> lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. All right, good enough. Okay. The gentleman will address the emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. The only other color they're allowed to wear is red. They are a, na <laughs> a nation of goth kids. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favort. Gerfuffle makes schmuffle. Truffle, truffle. I think I'm getting the hang of this Nilfgaardian language. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. Oh shit. We're friends. I broke character. Oh, roleplay immersion ruined. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's Ugh. in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. <laughs> you will find her and bring her to me. What a petulant looking child. Ah. <sighs> Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. Oh, that's Siri. Okay. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. <coughs> I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. 
because she trusts you. She trusts me, <laughs> yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up oh. for all those lost years. Oh my god, that for face. Reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive. For you are my whore, Witcher. Considerably more. You're a whore. You're a whore, girl. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith, take him to the sorceress. Can I call you Mary for short? Meredith. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. This looks somewhat familiar. Yes, yes. I do recognize this from the end of The Witcher 1. In fact... Yes, I do. Yeah, I think I saw this courtyard at the end of the game. Yeah, it's all coming back. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes, then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Aha. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. Oh, baby. One I might even take you up on. Oh, but we've baby. matters to attend to. Now, do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. A sexy, sexy Look, goth boat. That's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed, but I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Siri. All right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Siri been seen exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. 
Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret <coughs> handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Okay. <laughs> Get our gear. Gear. Right. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. <coughs> Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's oh robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Cloves. Like sponges. Close. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. They are the ultimate so goth kids. Travel to Belen's. Okay. Okay. And we're out. Switch continent. learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Okay. <clears throat> so we are on our way here. Velen, Northern Temeria, five days later. Cheery. Oh, lovely decorations. Well, okay, guys, that's, um... Hearts of Stone expansion. New. No, I'm I'm not level thirty yet, guys. Uh, ah. A rune right? Oh, okay. So yeah, putting runes on the swords. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Welcome to the Blood and Wine expansion. This expand I'm getting so expanded right now. Man. 
Okay, yeah, sure. Um, okay. Alright. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Um, until next time, if you want to donate some warm, fuzzy feelings, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Whatever you feel like. And I'll see you next time. Later, voyeurs.